hello everyone today i'm gonna solve this problem from java the problem name is java std in and std out to that means a standard input and a standard output to they have told us that in this challenge you must read an integer or double and a string from std in that means a standard input then print the values according to the instructions in the output format section below to make the problem a little easier a portion of the code is provided for you in the editor like earlier and the note is we recommend completing java stdin and stdout1 before attempting this challenge i have already solved this if you haven't checked that out please do so uh, the video is in the description box down below then um, the input format there are three lines of input the first line contains an integer the second line contains a double the third line contains a string output format there are three lines of output on the first line we have to print string followed by the unaltered string read from the stdin that means we have to provide the exact same string the string we have got as an input from the user we can't change the string at all i mean the user would provide a string value to us we can't change that string value in any way all right and on the second line, print double followed by the unaltered double uh, read from the stdin. Same kind of thing. On the third line, print integer followed by the unaltered integer read from the stdin. That means we have to uh, include int double clone in a uh, double quote. Then we have to add a plus symbol to concatenation with the uh, integer variable that we have got from the user. To make the problem easier, a portion of the code is already provided in editor. Note, if you use the next line method immediately following the next int method, recall that next int reads integer tokens. Because of this, the last new line character for that uh, line of integer input is still queued in the input buffer and the next, next line will be reading the remainder of the integer line which is empty. All right. So I'm not going to use next line right now. I'm going to simply use next because the next uh, read until it reaches a blank space so that i don't need to worry about this thing at all so let me go into the code this is the sample code i'm gonna simply remove this line first of all i need to uh, take an object from the scanner class let's say scanner scanner equal to new scanner system dot in fun first of all i need to read an integer variable so let's say i'm gonna need integer var1 equal to scanner dot next int like this then i need to uh, take a double variable so double var2 equal to scanner dot next double like this and in the third line i have to take I string from the user as input so i'm gonna use i string type a string data type right now so let's say um, string string sorry how can i do this i forgot that already don't worry a string str or two yeah i think this should be all right next it and now i need to print this the output i'm not sure why it's not highlighting this syntax highlighting let's see well first of all let me check it out sample test case no response on s to do out all right fine let me complete this code first so first of all i need to print this line so i'm gonna use system dot out of print column then i need to include this thing first so i'm gonna write this here string then i need to provide a space here then i need to provide this string variable here and for the second line print one I need to provide double a colon a single space and the double variable which is var2 and for the last line i need to provide system.out.println uh, the 
int apollo a single space then the integer variable like this this should work let me run it first run code and oops wrong answer so i'm doing it wrong here well maybe i can use another next line to avoid this getting into bar two it might solve the error let me check it again run code and nope it's still wrong string all right first of all i'm taking integer as input and the second i am taking double variable into the input scanner dot next double then scanner dot sorry i've completely forgotten that i need to use next line why because if i use next like this it won't read well after this i mean whenever it reaches to an white space or you can say a blank space it stops reading from the user so as i'm gonna read the entire string i need to use a scanner dot next line like this now it should work if i'm not mistaken yeah it works let me submit it again yeah now they have accepted my solution so that's it